All right, welcome back to War Pip. So what we're gonna do is I wanted to show you a challenging skirmish to kind of show some of the vehicles before we jump into the campaign. This is my favorite game that is out right now. I'm absolutely loving it. So let's do a skirmish. We'll do challenging because challenging oftentimes gives us vehicles. All right, so for three command points, I can get a vehicle. That's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna wanna do. Luckily, I have war pips as opposed to the mercenaries because they're actually pretty good at holding the line. Now, unfortunately, all I have is an auto cannon and some barbed wire and landmines as opposed to, say, you know, the missile support system. So as our guys get closer, well, they're just gonna get sniped by these dang towers. This is where you need missiles. Now, these guys are getting wiped. We might have to do a more defensive one. This little supply truck. I was hoping to get a little XP. We gotta wait then, I guess. Oh, you know what we could do? Call in a support guy to call in an artillery brush. Cause I need to get some XP. Ooh, nice. That artillery brush worked. And we've got three points, so let's do it. Now this guy's kind of expensive. He's a KN38 Puma. Anti-infantry. Oh, whoa, 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 bro. Get back. Get back. Don't stay up there and get sniped. Oh, at least you're behind cover. Yeah, these sniper towers are anti-infantry specialists. All right, it looks like we're gonna be a little attack wave and then a long attack wave before the three airstrikes looking at the timer. Hmm, I could hold off this infantry squad. I don't know where the rest of their money is. Like they must have some kind of a vehicle. All right, so we'll use this thing to defend us. There it is, we got one of those. Now what do I wanna do? I do wanna upgrade my men, but I feel like maybe supporting this truck because it costs three supply, right? All right, so we'll support him with one infantry with a grenade launcher. There we go. Let's see if I can't get some. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Now we're going to easily take out those towers, hopefully. So yeah, our first taste of vehicles here. And the guard towers are only shooting at infantry. They don't shoot at vehicles. So that is pretty key. I think we definitely did this right. This truck is stupid. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Normally, they'll send a lot of infantry out as well, but maybe their deck of abilities, you know, special abilities and units is random as well. All right, now the infantry are coming. This thing just mops up the floor, man. Now he is a light vehicle, so he can't endure as much as say the armored personnel carrier, which was in the video on Baron Von Tactics. All right, big wave of, is coming. What What is your big wave? What do you got for me? Oh no, you got one of those things too. But ours looks like it has a, no, it doesn't have a tow missile. It's just a machine gun. So machine gun truck versus machine gun truck. All right, let's see if I can't put a landmine in his path. And hopefully he runs over it. Oh, he's you right next suck. to it. I think he may have hit the landmine, actually. Now, if we could destroy that truck, that would be ideal. All right, we're going to start upgrading our infantry now. Because as we upgrade them, the next level they go from $25 to $20, and then from $20 to $15. So that is huge. They got two of these armored trucks. Uh-oh, heavy gunners. No, those are just regular machine guns. <laughs> yeah, this thing is not strong by any stretch of the imagination. All right. Let's see. Probably save up and use the auto cannon. See if we can't. There we go. Made one hit. Come on. Let's call him out. Let's call the big guy out. There it is. Now destroy that truck. The truck only shoots at infantry as well. So we're, we'll chase him down. Still try to get a little more XP. This is a little bit of a slower one just because for whatever reason, the enemy doesn't have any infantry that it's bringing out. It just brings out these big trucks, which provide infantry themselves. I really wish he would shoot at the, yeah, get that infantry down so we can get this XP. One more XP point and we've got very cheap infantry. If I had a rocket artillery brush as well, this is probably one of the more unique, um, kind of like randomly generated battles that I've had here in Skirmish. Now I need what? What, five more gold to get another one of these? All right, get on out there. Take those men out. We'll give you some cover and fire. Oh, <laughs> that group of three guys was immediately obliterated. But yeah, there's like heavy tanks. There's A-10 Warthog airstrikes. There's all kinds of stuff. We're getting very close to that final XP point. Yes. Okay. Now as we level up. Oh, I should have called in the other dude. We're going to be able to get a lot more infantry. Oh, so close to getting one more XP point. Enemy wave approaching. Oh, this guy's a little bit weak now. And he's shooting at the tower as opposed to the infantry. Our lone so infantryman is out there. Now, this is a very long, prolonged wave of attacks. All right. I need to save this XP point. I'm going to start saving out because I don't know if I'm going to need cash flux or what during this wave come on boys hold the line oh oh as he leveled up it looks like he's got a tow missile on his vehicle now does he have one tow missile and then after he uses it he loses it doesn't look like it oh yeah installs an anti-vehicle rocket launcher and drops off four mercenaries and a tactician oh my god we definitely have to upgrade these guys hopefully before this level ends because if i can get another one of those guys being able to drop off four mercenaries and a tactician 
when reaching the front line is massive. All right, he's dead. So we're a little over halfway through this battle. Once, like I said, it's a very, very weird one. I'm gonna wait till they actually get a little bit closer. Why? I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Soften them up a bit. But yeah, I love how there's like physics on this. So you get what? 13 XP for killing an infantryman, which we did. Boom, 23 for a truck. And how much XP is this? I wish I had a numerical value up here just to get a better idea of how soon it would be. Yeah, so these trucks drop off infantry. I can't tell if he's dropping a Tomis or not. We're one XP point away from having this guy be fully upgraded. And if he's alive, he might just drop it off anyway. Actually, you know what? It might be GG right here. I don't see them spawning anything to stop this guy, which is a shame. I wish I could buy an XP point. That'd be kind of cool. Did we wear them out of money? Oh, there we go. Enemy truck with infantry and our guys. Yeah. No, destroy that. Don't destroy their base. Destroy their support truck. Come on, do it, do it. Oh, shoot the infantry, shoot the infantry. Sh yes. All right, so he should rank up. Does he drop them now? Maybe he doesn't. Okay, let's get one. And we'll support him with another, a little squatty. Although he's going on foot. Oh man, that's a huge squad. And the mercenaries have these little Uzis. Oh wow, they, they, two of them are already dead. <laughs> They're not the smartest nor the most durable of soldiers. But yeah, man, this is sweet. Every time I lose it, I'll just get another one. I've got enough cash. Although that's a lot of dudes up there. Call it an artillery strike, Mr. Tack Officer. That's his ability. Reduces the delay between artillery strikes. All right, this is the front line. Drop the men off. Oh, they all got wiped out immediately. <laughs> All right, so at this point, best to get more men out there to support because we got to win before these three airstrikes come in because that is what those three atom bombs looking icons on the timeline are. Wow, they they have two trucks. Get another one. They're actually stalling us out right now. Our, our attack is stalling and we're running low on cash. These guys get dropped off, but they almost all immediately die. <laughs> it is unfortunate. All right, how are we doing, boys? Do we want cash? Actually, if I get now with one more XP point, I can call in two of these if I have the money. But I'm thinking we destroy the base right here. We got our attack officer with his long range rifle. Oh, they're, they're fighting back. Not very well, but they did take our attack officer out. And that's a sweet victory. Love to see it. All right, so now what we're going to be doing Doing is hopping in the campaign continue campaign basically where we left off from the last one all right so let's see what's that bomb all about oh my god this is huge if we take this but they got a lot of soldiers should we that's kind of the goal we're gonna have is to beat this one now they've got trucks pistols shotguns war fighters and the vaz you get so many cool things now to prep ourselves for that are we ready right now? What's my loadout? I think we could do that now, actually. I got an oil, Derek. Should we try it? Maybe we should try it. I feel like against all those infantrymen, this guy's gonna do really good. A sentry turret, we'll have that, and we'll have healing, right? Yeah, so let's go to it. Let, let's do the big one. Operation Glib Snail. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with the operation names. All right, Operation Glib Snail. That, that satellite looks like the one, or you know, a little radar dish here. Looks like the one from GoldenEye 007, man. I'm telling you, a lot of little nostalgia going on here. Okay, what do we do? If we can, we get a turret out. We put it here, we get one infantryman, and, and I'm gonna try to save up to get an oil derrick if possible. You know, actually, you know what we could do? Let's get an oil derrick. If that's what we want, let's get one, boys. Yeah, so we're basically just defending against like a ton of chaff units. So there we go, the gold's coming in. And we'll upgrade our infantrymen while we do this. Yeah, but grenade launchers and auto turret can can hold. It's just mass, mass infantry. We'll get another one. Another one! Because this one looks like it's going to go down soon. Man, that's a ton of infantry. All right, we lost the armor there. And let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want more cash or do I want to upgrade these guys? They're kind of just pushing, man. They're kind of pushing. I'm getting really close. We're getting really close. Yes. All right. My guys are cheaper now. So that auto turret, we'll put another one down. And now I think we can, we've absorbed it. Now we're going to start our counter attack and all XP points could go towards getting more infantry. Oh my God. They're actually going to push massively in a moment. I'm a little worried about that. Both turrets are still up. So I'm going to save that for a cash boost if I need it. If I could just launch a grenade right in that. We got grenade launchers. We're not firing them, though. All right. Enemy wave is approaching. Oh, my gosh. I need cash. Put the auto turret back there. Should we do more cash? 
Cash is king, but jeez. I'll save it. I'll save it. I mean, there's no point in putting it, like, locking it down in the infantry here. We might as well stack them up until we have three and we know what we want to do. I have three turrets, though. I have three auto turrets, so that's important. I could try for another one of these. Oh, there's the three. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get double that cash and upgrade these so my guys are super cheap and they're fully upgraded. Now with this, we're going to start using our XP to either do cash or upgrade the size of our squads, but I've never seen a wave of infantry this big in the game before. It's pretty awesome. Oh, we lost a turret. We actually lost two, but I replaced one. All right. Dude, this is kind of crazy. All right, let's do a little healing stim pack spell. I don't have a, a very convenient spot to put another oil derrick, so we'll have to keep it at two. And we'll call in some more dudes with grenade launchers. Yeah, breaking through this is actually going to be kind of tough. So all XP has to go to squad size. But I mean, one good grenade, though, wipes out a ton of them. As long as we don't lose our oil derricks. I mean, when you got money. Ooh, yeah, because grenades, what, two, three kills at a time sometimes. All right, I think we might have just hit critical mass. Oh, no. Oh, they've got these guard towers, which are really good at sniping. They basically like one shot a mercenary and it seemed to be two shotting my colonial marines. And I will always call them colonial marines because they look like colonial marines. Dang it. I'm glad my guys are cheap. Oh, that grenade probably hit like five or six of them right there. All right, just take the guard tower out. That's what we need. All right, let's save up this cash. There we go, guard tower's down. We're gonna be able to make some progress over the, looks like the North Bridge. I'm actually upgrading my cash. That's what I wanna do. I just upgraded to 100. Basically, since we're, we need to move in between these two waves. So I need to have a lot of cash ready for me. Look at how much XP we're getting. I think it's like 13 XP when you take out an infantryman and like 23 a vehicle. All right, this is the last bit of the wave. So full bit of infantry. We could even heal them. Yeah, let's heal them up. We're pushing through here. And let's take that cash. I've got $220. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I can't even place another oil derrick. But look at that. Pistols, shotguns, ARs. It's all of it. Yeah, breaking through this before they get their airstrikes in that final wave is going to be huge. We got the cash. We got the cash. Now we need the infantry push. If I had a vehicle, oh, that APC that drops off these guys. Good tactical Marines. Boom. When you have this many, man, there's a, that means a lot of grenades going out there. Oh, lobbing them. All right. We are laying waste to the Golden Eye Severnaya Bunker. A few guys spawned in, spawned in a full squad. This wave is going to be the one that does it, I think. All right. Defense up for a little bit, boys. All right. Now go in all together. All together now. And as we level up, we'll just increase the pip size, which apparently gets really, really big. This is the biggest pip squad I've ever had. I have so much money from that. those two derricks. All right, now let's send them on attack so that these guys get up to the front lines a little bit faster. And there it is. Sweet, sweet victory. All right, so we kind of went a little risky on the campaign, but it sure paid off because look at what we have unlocked. We got 40 war bucks, which is all well and good because it looks like we can upgrade some buildings and stuff. But we got a machine gun, oil barrels. Oil barrels are great. The defense turret, four snipers, three war pips, and an extra life. Oh, that's cool. How neat is that? Wow. So that was that was a big one, apparently. Now do we want to go and fight? For me, I'm looking at like what am I gonna unlock? This one's pretty cheap. It's pistols. It's not a lot here. So what's my loadout for it? I'll use war pips, and I'll use. Kind of don't even want to use anything else. I got a lot of snipers. We'll we'll do that. So deploy against these guys? Yeah, an early sniper could be actually really, really good. But we'd have to spend cash. They do have those trucks though, so you gotta keep that in mind. That's a lot of a lot of goods over there. All right, okay. 50, what are you gonna bring out? We'll upgrade this guy, we'll get the cash. We'll have a sniper and one squatty. Boom! We're running out of money though. We went all in on that sniper. I'll save my XP points till I get like four. Or if we need them, I'll just do cash rushes. But it looks like we're holding down the fort, man. We haven't lost a single guy. This worked out. Okay. This strategy worked out pretty well. Look at that. We have literally two attack cards. Oh, we got three now. So one more and then I can upgrade my guys to make them cheaper. To make the war pips become cheaper, this guy has just greater shooting range. Wow. These guys are kicking butt. I'm surprised we haven't lost a guy. I'll be honest. I, I'm just wildly surprised. One, two, three, four. Boom. Rank up. What was that? Something just like fired off screen. Jeez. 
You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we, we do have an attack wave coming. I'm gonna save my points again. Oh, they got my sniper because I wasn't watching. Grunts galore. We just got an attack ribbon. Sweet. Yeah, although this is kind of an expensive loadout. So my guys need to be really good. Oh, this attack wave is gonna be brutal, isn't it? I need money. I might need money. Hurry up and XP up, man, before that wave comes. Oh, those grenade launchers. I want you guys to defend a bit, okay? Lay down the fire. Can I tell you to retreat? Unfortunately not. All right, that guy's dead. And the enemy wave's coming now. All right, we called in these dudes. Oh man, they get that dang truck, don't they? You know what? I'm doing it. I'm upgrading these guys. So that way there's 15. Replacements are gonna be super cheap. Uh-oh, <laughs> I said that and then we almost ran out of money. Achievement unlocked, what did I get? Eagle eye. Oh, the sniper must've got a certain amount of kills maybe. All right, now I think I probably want cash, but we'll wait and see. I love the laser sight, man. When you see it lock on someone, you're like, that guy's gonna get dropped. He gonna get dropped. We have two XP points. I guess we could, we could do that. We'll get three of them now. We'll get four of them now. Ooh, the sniper took an errant shot. You can see little blood pixels around him. There we go. There it is. Ooh, took out the truck. Now, was that a was that the sniper or was it a grenade that did it? Hmm. Yeah, being judicial with your XP points is key. Let's get 75 cash in the bank. Now, how are we doing? Good. I think we're going to be able to take the base out before we get the little yellow caution zone. I'm going to get another sniper and some more supporting infantry. Got that XP point. We could take 75 cash if we want. We got two snipers, so we got to keep them supplied with infantrymen to go in front of them, right? We don't want to lose the snipers if we don't have to. All right, almost to that next XP point. We'll get another sniper. We're going all in right here. We got three snipers. Get them, boys. Do <laughs> douche. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, that worked out very, very well. I'm very pleased with our success in this mission. Operation success. Enemy army strength. Do I, does that mean I have to like beat the enemy army before it gets to the skull or what? What do we unlock? Eh, some decent stuff, right? We got those attack dogs. You guys haven't seen the attack dogs yet, have you? They're pretty cool. So now if I want to get to this flag, what do I think would be the easier way? I love how like I can choose the different maps. Now, this one gets a lot of militia. This one gets a lot of stuff though. This one here, sentry turret. This one's pretty good, but I, I want to try. What does this thing do? Drops off a large platoon of war fighters to the front line. So fighting that you're probably, you can't really use militia. You could use militia against this one, I think. Now, actually let's go to the arms dealer and you can buy those for war bucks or we can go for upgrades. Bullet vest, all infantry get a small health increase or increase all infantry magazine capacity by 50%. What's this? Requires bullet vest one, okay. Increases XP per kill, whoa. That's what I'm doing. I didn't even have to look at everything else. I think that's probably the best bet. I'm not entirely sure. Now I'm gonna try militia against these WAS trucks because they're just soldiers. They're not the war fighters. There's a lot of pistol -y boys out there, but that's okay. I think uh, mercenaries, I call them militia, but mercenaries could probably do good against these. So we will load them up and I'm gonna load up some attack dogs too. And we'll take us, we'll take these chemical warfare devices if we need them. AKA poison gas. There she is. Our base. And here's the enemy rabble of dust. All right, so they're gonna send, the dogs have an interesting mechanic. Uh, they refund a little bit of the dollars you spend if they make it back. So we're gonna send out three early. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough XP and we'll save the cash. They got one, yeah. We'll drop some chemical right there. It's a little bit late, unfortunately. And we'll bring out our militia. We got three points. Look at that. It's gonna kill them. And we'll just drop it all out there. One, two, three, four. Now our militia gets two for every one we get out. So there's a little bit of a cooldown, and it's $5 per use. Okay, that's gonna be a big wave and then a lull. But I, I, we might just wipe them out with four. Now, does the poison gas hurt my guys? It doesn't, even though we don't have gas masks. I like that. I like that it doesn't hurt us, but I feel like we should have gas masks or something. Or it'd be cool if you could like buy gas masks. But I guess this isn't like a World War One. Oh, those guys spawn in and wiped us. All right, we're gonna spawn in three attack doggies to get three of them out of there. Go boys, go! Look at that. <laughs> and we'll upgrade these guys again. So now militia spawn in three per dose. And what's cool is they come all the way back. So if they make it back, we get $15 back. And there's a squad of nine mercenaries. 
I know, I know. I'll use mercenary militia synonymously. The, the battle is a little bit crazy. Commentary can be affected by it. Now we'll upgrade our squad size. We'll get in some squad, some squatty dogs. Because they can get to the front lines real quick. A lot of shots going off. All right, the big wave's about to come, so let's let's actually save cash and XP. I'm just sending out a bunch of dogs to loosen this group up. Hopefully, some of the dogs make it back. Enemy wave approaching. Arr, they get the XP, too. All right, we need a big defense. Only one made it back. There we go. That's a lot of guys. Now, let's defend a bit, boys. You, you guys don't really defend very well. You, you don't have very good range on your weaponry. All right, now I feel like all XP bonuses should probably go to cash influxes. We're getting a lot of XP, though. Since there's a lot of infantry units, we get a lot of kills. Come on, get there. Yes, okay, good. We'll upgrade that to 75. Oh, yeah, let's get some chemicals. The chemical brothers are here, boys. That'll be a lot of cheap and easy XP. Look at that. Now we get 100 gold. Now we get 100 gold. Yeah! And another one. Dude, I'm going to send in the biggest wave you've ever seen. I'm going to send in a dog, but there's no one to, to get with the dog. All right, so this is the lull that we want to get them in. Oh, the last bit of our chemical warfare took it like out an entire squad. Go get him. Oh, now make it back, Fido. Oh, Fido didn't make it back. You killed my Fido. All right, you ready to see this? Mercenaries would pair very well with a tactical officer. My goodness, this is massive. Oh, but these guys with their ARs, I think they have a little bit longer range and they're a little more accurate, but they don't have nearly as many men as we do. All right, boys, go attack. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cute. You got some men. We haven't... I don't know if we've lost any guys. We may have lost maybe, like, a few. I think this base is dead, boys. <laughs> it is dead. It is dead. And we are victorious. Now, when am I going to unlock the first vehicles in the campaign? Probably after we beat the first continent or first zone or whatever it is. That extra XP is really helping us. Smoke grenades. I love these things. They're really good. Uh, mercenaries and another sniper. We have so many snipers. All right. So how do I get this level? I can't deploy there. Oh, I got to beat these three missions that are in front of it, or at least one of them, right? All right. So pistol boys and war fighters, and then a lot of war fighters. Okay. A lot of war fighters. Got it. We're dealing with a lot of war fighters here, boys. We're dealing with a lot of war fighters. Actually, you know what? I want to try this strategy. We're also going to use our oil barrel. And we'll have a sn... No, no, we'll leave the sniper. All right. This is the Russian infantry strategy. Now, the oil barrels are cool. Check this out. Wait, which one did we do? <laughs> Hopefully, we clicked the right one. I think I chose the one where it was just like pistol boys and the war fighters and war fighter truck. We'll see. We will see. All right. Okay. Got to wait. 18 seconds for that. Lots of dudes. Lots of dudes. Hmm. Gonna have a big cash influx then, right? With that. And there's a timer on it. Oh, they got a big truck. Okay. And... Oh, yeah. I forgot these guys are rubbish. Now we gotta definitely upgrade them. We probably should have done that from the beginning. Wait. I think... I think this strategy is kaput. I mean, we're we're slowly getting there, though. Uh -oh. I got a bad uh -oh. feeling uh -oh. about this. Marksman, call in the artillery. Okay, good. Oil barrel saves the day, maybe. Okay, we got a few militia out here. Some militia of mercenaries. You get it. You guys know. You're like, oh, God, there he does. He does the thing where he makes them synonyms, at least in his head. We're holding him off, though. Marksman guy's doing his thing. Yeah, give him some reinforcements, boys. Oh, no, we lost him. And the truck of warfighters is coming. I need cash. I need cash money. Wait, have I been upgrading the wrong thing? All right, I think... I think we survived it. If we did that and we get more XP per kill, we're two. We need we need two more. And then we'll be able to do the Russian Barah. I want you guys to defend a little bit. Yeah, stay back there. Hold the line. Hold the line till reinforcements arrive. There we go. That looks positive. Now go out there and get some XP for us, boys. Ooh, big artillery strike. Hot dang. We got the barrel. We got to remember to just keep doing that. There's no real adv advantage to like not doing it there we go fully upgraded troops so we can wait for this squad to get wiped if we need to although there's a limited amount of time let's see does he call it an artillery brush no he gets he gets he gets destroyed all right take up defensive positions because this thing has an auto cannon on it which is really really good at uh hurting me oh man yeah the tactical the tactician and the mercenaries very good combo right here i'm saving these xp points I might need the cash for this wave because we're not wiping that base before this wave comes. I mean, we could. I just 
It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it. Another XP point. Good, good, good. Get that cash. Get that cash. We have four XP points. Oh, you know what we could do? Now I got a lot of cash. All right, all right. So this is, this isn't even the big wave. Ooh, beautiful artillery strike. And okay, I can do, can do one of those. And I've got the big cash influx. What if I just sent them into attack? Use your Uzis, they have pistols. I like to have one XP point available so I can call in this cash when and if I need it. Ooh, ah! All right, let's do it. One, two, and then the rest of those guys. So now we have two TAC officers. A little defensive, boys. TAC officers calling the artillery. Boom, boom. Good. Now we don't want them to die. We want the enemy to die. Call in a third TAC officer. Why not? Reinforcements are arriving. Take defensive positions till allies are here. This is tough. All right, two XP points. That means I can save it for the cash. Almost got another one. Cash, cash. We got the base. We're hitting the base. Call another TAC officer. This is during their attack wave. We're doing well. We are doing very well. I love this game though. Like, I mean, look, isn't it? It's got a charm to it. Seeing these little pixel art infantrymen running out there. Now they all die when the base blows up, which is just sad. All these men giving their lives. It's like the Clone Wars, man. Enemy army strength is going up. And are we at that enemy base yet? We got barbed wire, poison gas, and two groups of mercs. Mercs are fun, but they take a little bit of time to build up to get really, really good. Whoa, one of these is all vehicles. Okay, so it's full on vehicles on this lineup. This one's got a buggy, anti-infantry buggy and snipers. So that one's very, very good at killing infantry, which is all we have. So I don't know, like, what's this one? Oh my gosh, they got Tanya over there. Hero, anti-infantry elite fighter. Yikes. But what are the rewards we get? And what's in our loadout? We don't have any of the Kami drones, which we're gonna need. So in order to fight Tanya, I need to beat... I think this is the one we're gonna need to get so we can get the drone swarms. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of War Pips. If you guys do wanna see more, we'll put the trigger on the like button and let me know. Link to the game is in the video description. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know if you wanna see more. See you next time.